In the last in-depth video, we looked at the new Quantum Spy Track. In this video, we're going to look at the second new processing option, Mustard Processing. Mustard adds additional channel processing options that work alongside the standard SD channel strip processing. These new processors can be used on the channel at the same time as your standard SD processors, giving you more flexibility and options for sculpting the sound. On Quantum 7, you have 64 mono mustard strips available to use, and enabling them on a stereo channel uses two of the processors. So let's switch it on and run through the options it gives. On the channel, pressing the M button switches the view to mustard processing, and you can see we have the four options available. The top section is our tube section, two preamp modelers with varying options. Here we have either a simple single variable control tube preamp with harmonic selection options. Each of the harmonic presets give varying combinations of distortion, gain and compression, six variations for a wide range of inputs and styles. And switching the tube to the amp model unit opens up the options with more controls for tweaking with drive bias, high frequency boost and saturation controls. It's a highly customizable distortion and overdrive processor. The second mustard section is the EQ section. It's a four band fully parametric EQ section, similar to the standard SD processing strip. And when used in conjunction with the SD EQ, gives you eight bands of parametric EQ on the channel. The top and bottom bands can be switched between bell and shelf filters, and the two middle bands switch between bell and all pass filters. All pass filters are just phase at the given frequency rather than level and really are a specialized tool. Module three is the compressor section and with four models to choose from. These mustard compressors are modeled on classic analog units. So having them natively on your Quantum 7 will expand your creative choices without the need for external processing options. And each of these units features a mix control, perfect for parallel compression. I've got one of each of our mustard compressors set up on some channels, so let's take a quick look. First up is the classic compressor, a general purpose forward feed compressor with hard or soft knee switching and RMS or peak level sidechain amplitude sensing. Next is the vintage VCA style compressor. It's an RMS detection compressor with a fixed attack time and auto release time. Option three is the modeled classic opto compressor. These have unique characteristics provided by the optical compressor circuits. Attack and release are non-linear and the gain reduction is ratio dependent. And option four is the FET limiter. Like many FET limiters, this has a fixed threshold, but adjusting the input and output gains does allow complete control over the amount of gain and the final output level. And finally, let's look at module four of the mustard processing strip. It's a gate and ducker pretty similar to the standard SD channel strip module, but has different attack and release shape characteristics. The mustard processing strips can be inserted in one of five places within your SD channel strip, from pre-processing through pre-EQ dynamics, mid-EQ dynamics, post-fade or even pre-fade. And on Quantum 7, don't forget you have 64 of these mustard strips available. And you're not limited to just using them on input channels, you can use them on any type of channels, inputs or outputs. The ability to add these boutique star modeled processing options to your Quantum 7 really changes the way you can mix with many more onboard processing options for every style of music. Head over to our YouTube channel and check out more of our in-depth videos on Quantum Software.